Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and today we're talking Rainbow Six Siege and specifically try to predict what's going to happen with the six invitational game mode and are the developers also going to throw us a bit of a curveball with something that we can see in the battle pass right now. Now the reason I'm making this video at the moment is because I want to try and kind of speculate before obviously we get leaks and data mines probably from a future patch that will come out maybe in January. So I want to kind of get in before that happens. Now Last year, of course, we had the Road to SI Battle Pass and we also had a game mode that brought us the stadium map and it was freaking good. Now, we of course already have a Battle Pass out right now, which is again the Road to SI, but it seems weird because obviously it's out months earlier than it was last time, but that's because it's actually going to last all the way into February and it means it's basically still the same Battle Pass, it's just way longer, which... I like, I would definitely prefer that it's a longer battle pass than previously. Even though overall I don't really like battle passes, they're very grindy and all that. However, the battle pass and the launch trailer for Neon Dawn has revealed a lot of details and both of them have bits of the puzzle that all come together. So first up is Team Captains. We have Vigil as Team Captain of Blue, we have Ash as Team Captain of Red, we have Mira, Team Captain of Orange, and we have Capital, Team Captain of Green. And then from details from the battle pass and the animation, we can put together that Vigil is teamed up with Buck and IQ, Ash is teamed up with Kali and Wamai, Mira is teamed up with Mozzi and Aruni, Capital is teamed up with Valkyrie. But considering in the animation, Aruni also says that she will see him on the battlefield, then I kind of think that that missing spot is probably Capital, Vigil and Thermite on the same team for green. Wait, you're giving me Kali? I'll trade you Buck for Kali. I hope Mosi's not on my team. Or he might experience an accident. No, he's with me. I don't recognize this name. Who's Aruni? I've got to train hard if I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Let's not get carried away now. <laughs> See you on the field. Now, when I heard multiple team captains, the first thing I went to in my brain was a special event that would be a game mode with multiple teams instead of just two and that would be kind of cool if they you know had an actual good game mode to go along with it where it felt enjoyable to play with multiple teams but certainly i'm hoping that might be the case now it could be that we just get a return of last year's event which would be just the stadium map and basically a normal game of rainbow six siege but on that stadium map could certainly happen i do wonder though if they're gonna mix it up so that brings us to the curveball which is definitely interesting and i'm assuming this is in the battle pass for a reason and considering this is kind of the road to si battle pass it to me this seems like quite a big thing to throw in there and that is the 3d weapon skins they are presumably non-lethal versions of the guns that would fire something different perhaps i don't know they definitely have some odd stuff on the front that could either be for some sort of laser tag style thing or something else but the biggest thing is that they say on them for military use made on luna colony 01 the freaking moon they also say made on luna orbiter so that's a pretty big thing to just throw in to the battle pass that is the road to si one and it's weird now the actual style of the graphics on the gun is not even close to any of the other six invitational style stuff so these might not actually be part of the event when we actually get the game mode and we're you know actually shooting and stuff in game playing the game mode but still it does seem a bit weird that you're throwing the freaking moon in there and what does that mean for the future of siege because that's obviously very futuristic and we obviously have seen the moon in Siege's lore already with Yana because she was apparently you know a spacefarer and operator and her holograms managed to make it all the way to the moon so that she could actually literally walk around on the moon. So my kind of question here is is this just a you know a quirky little thing to throw into the battle pass to really give these 3d weapon skins something different you know give them something crazy or does this tie in with the rest of the battle pass which is six invitational based and indicate that we could either first of all in year six get a moon map or something like that which would be very unusual they of course could host this special event on the moon as well which would just be weird too but like i say this is 
a really odd thing to throw into this battle pass. They don't really have to do it. And it kind of mixes things up. So I see either, my predictions being, we get something very traditional, which would be in the stadium map, probably a reorganized stadium map, which is around a different type of game mode. We can see that obviously the operators are actually wearing what looks to be more in line with firing non-lethal rounds of some sort, either to be paintballs or something else. And they are, you know, made up for that. Whereas, of course, the last time they were firing pretty much bullets of some description, obviously non-lethal, but they weren't even wearing, like, face protection. So this time they've, they've suddenly decided to go face protection and look more like they're actually going out doing traditional airsoft or something rather than the hyper-real thing we got last time with these, like, silver bullets that would disintegrate. So, yeah... Either my feeling is we get something very down to earth, which will be stadium map again with a special game mode again. Although you will have noticed that those teams I listed off, they have attackers and defenders on them, which means the game mode will sure as hell not be attacker or defender based. It'll probably be more akin to team deathmatch or some sort of team objective where both teams are trying to do the same thing rather than actually be defense or attack, or at least that's how I would envision it. Now, of course, the other possibility is that we end up on the moon, which would be honestly not my preferred option. And I don't think we will. I think we're going to end up in the stadium map. That's my preferred choice. And I think it's much more likely to happen because these weapon skins with the Luna base on them, that to me is much more of a tease of potentially the future, like a little glimpse into what they might do. Because, of course, Rainbow Six Siege has moved very, very, very far away from counter-terrorism we're nowhere near it anymore like basically for the last couple of years we've been going towards a rainbow six siege which is all about entertainment and entertaining like literally in their universe instead of being counter-terrorists they are actually being in arenas showing off to fans and being broadcast everywhere like they are literally sportsmen now and you can obviously as well see the inspiration from esports and all of these cinematics that are starting to do where they obviously are doing it for entertainment but instead of sitting down at a computer doing it obviously they're actually physically playing siege that's how it's playing out which i have found to be a very interesting take on it like watching the last year's cinematic was amazing I'm, I'm, i'll be amazed if they can actually top that this time around but obviously the counterterrorism thing is long gone and we can guess that that's never coming back i would love it if there was like, you know, this continued and then suddenly there was a surprise attack or something and we went back into the counterterrorism, but I just don't see that happening. So let's wrap up this video. My prediction is going to be that we get a normal stadium map back, but it will be a whole new game mode, potentially, like I say, with multiple teams. I don't know if we'll have a four-team game, maybe a three-team game, and it'll be some sort of team objective. Now, I don't know if there'll be respawns or anything like that on, but hopefully... It'll be a very enjoyable game mode and be a lot of fun. Now, I think the moon references, we're going to see that. That's going to somehow show up, I think, maybe as a map in the next year. And maybe like in a dome on the moon or something like that. And it'll probably just be like literally a traditional map inside like a dome on the moon or something crazy. That's my kind of guess for what that moon reference will end up being. But... I'd love to know your guys' guesses in the comments below. And I guess we should also do this. We want to try and predict who is going to win the event. So we've seen Mira at a lot of events so far. She's been in quite a lot of animations and every single time she loses. So the last SI, she lost. She also lost against Sam Fisher as well. So I'm predicting that Mira is going to come away with the win this time with Muzzy and Aruni on her team. But let me know, guys, which team captain is going to bring the win for you? Do you think it'll be Vigil, Ash, Mira, or Capital? Now, of course, it's also possible that those teams are incorrect. So, of course, we do know the captains in that matches up in the animation and in the battle pass. But the animation and the battle pass have different team members for each of them. So, it could also be that we don't see teams of three. Maybe it'll be teams of two instead. Or it could be teams of four or five. And the rest just haven't been revealed yet. But that would be a lot of people to show up in the animation. So I'm kind of curious what they're going to do. Like I say, I think it may be a multi-team thing. And if it's a multi-team thing game mode, I would imagine it's going to be a multi-team CGI as well, which would be a sweet animation to see all these operators going at it. But we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.